we ready for this? Are we ready for a little spooky month? So for the next 30 days or so, we're going to be playing some a little bit interesting games, spooky games, scary games, crazy games. Man, we're going to have a little bit of fun. I hope you guys will too. If you do enjoy the content, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, man. If you are new to the channel, oh man, welcome and I appreciate you being here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You'll be coming back to check out some more, trust me. We're going to have a lot of fun, especially this month. So we're going to kick this off with a game called Alan Wake. And if you haven't ever seen this, you're in for a treat. I've never played it, but I have seen a little bit of it. Man, hope you guys all enjoy this. Oh, man. Mr. Fox, how you doing? Jordan Walls, how you doing? Oh, man, Jordan Walls, have a wonderful, wonderful day at that four-letter word there man here we go let's all enjoy this okay uh, this is a live stream you do get points for while you're in the live stream and you can utilize those and and uh, get those uh, redeemed in for uh, different sound effects and different crazy things just please I'm an old man don't do that scream too often I don't know if I can handle it this month <laughs> oh, here we go. We're going to have a lot of fun with this, all right? Yeah. All right. Alan Wake, the remastered version. Easy, normal, nightmare. I don't know. Let's try normal, see what happens. Here it goes. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Oh, flip! <coughs> I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. A look up to the light. Reverse your controls for up and down. No. You can change camera settings in the menu option screen. Well, wow, light's bright. Dude, I'm out of breath. Must be a writer. Flip. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew <clears> there was something important waiting for me there. Hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> wow, this is uh kind of weird how it's moving. It's um, trying to get used to it. I think it's just moving fast. The camera, it's the camera. 
The uh, mouse and the camera is moving pretty quick. Whoa! Fale oh, Felipe! What? Oh, oh, Felipe! Felipe! No! No! Bro, my skin's crawling. Flip, get over there. Get over there. Flip, flip, get, get the flip over there. Ah! You missed your deadline. What? 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 Flipping deadline? Shifting. Oh, Felipe! Whoa, flip! What the? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, flip! 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 I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Bro, this this bridge look like it gonna fall all apart. Oh, Felipe! Whoa! No! Let's go! <laughs> oh no! Oh, fuck! Oh, oh no! Get, get to the, get to the flipping lighthouse! Oh, oh, bro, I'm, I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Go, go! Bro, uh, what the flip you think I'm doing? Taking my flipping time? Bro, I'm out of breath. What do you mean there's no time to lose? Of course there's time to lose. Whoa. Die. What? Oh, Felipe! Oh, flip. Oh, flip. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, wow. oh, holy flip. What the? Death trap. I had to get out. Um, let's get out. Oh, flip. Okay, not that way. Get get out. Not that way. What, what the flip? Okay, we're going that way. All right. Flip, man. Run to the light. What the? F oh, flip. Not that way. Run to the light. Focus. Focus. What the flip, man? What? 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 Stay in the safe till I'm healed. Oh, okay. All right. Got it. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No, I don't flip and understand. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, all right. Guess we're going that way. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The Hitchhiker has been taken over by the Dark Presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Where? Where? 
flashlight toward him to burn the darkness away. What? Where's where's the flipping battery? Where's the flipping battery? You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Wow, hey, empty pockets. Remember what I taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. My dream? It's a flippin' nightmare. The terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. What? Follow the light. Run to the light! Go! Oh, Felipe! Bitch, get away! What's down in there? What is this, like a war bunker? Crazy. Wow. Hey, Confucius, how we doing? How do I get... Oh, this way? Run! Oh. No, I'm not dead. Oh, oh Felipe! Not all of you. Oh, flip. Oh, Felipe! Ah! Oh, flip! Oh, flip! Whoa! Oh, shit! Run! Flip! Flip! No, I'm not gonna die! We are not gonna die! We are not gonna... Bro, run to the light! Run to the light! Oh, flip! Ah! What? Why did my light run out? Okay, was that not the way to go? Flip. <sighs> Flip. Oh, open that. Oh, batteries. Oh, flares. And a... Oh, and a flare gun. Oh, got it. Got it. Uh, what, wait, 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 flip. Just like Oh, flip off, bro! Just flip the flip off! Get, get, go, 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 go. Run! I can keep this up no, you can't. Why am I not? Go! Run! Oh, 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 oh. oh shit! 
Run, bro! Run! Why are we not running? Why are we why are we moving like a turtle and flipping peanut butter? Come on, man. Seriously. Wow. Crazy. Craziness. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. Wow. Crazy. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Wow. Fresh seafood. Checkpoint reached. Welcome to Bright Falls. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest. Deerfest, huh? Hot diggity. You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying I'm Pat May, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Interesting. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. He's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. Hmm. Hey, Gallon, how we doing? Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. 
Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Hmm. Is something I strange gonna happen? Places like this. Oh wow. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was. Oh dear. I'm looking for. Mr. Wake, Alan, wake. Oh God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stucky. Carl Stucky. Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Mm. Yeah, that makes two of us. Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Do Alan. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! Should we grab it? Should we grab that? I'm in the coconut. Drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. Am I going to get a claim on this song? We'll yes, see. Yes, that's my favorite tune. Coconut. Shut your mouth, you demented has been. If I had my hammer, I could shut it for you. Jeez. Tune number six in the jukebox. Children of the Elder God. Now there's a song for you. It does that. Get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! Hmm. <laughs> this is it. I've died and gone to hell. Well, I guess we gotta go to the bathroom and drag the dude out? I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hello? Don't go in the dark. Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> the Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Huh. Wow. Bye, Mr. Wake. Interesting. Mission accomplished. The key 
and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Okay, so... How do we get the keys? If he had the keys. Can you believe this place? Are we going the wrong place? For a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while. See those stars winking down at you? It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. We'll deal with it. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Where's she at? Bird Leg Cabin. What a wonderful name for a place. What is this? Interesting. All right, we can go back around there. Where the flip is she? Why is she taking so long? Come on, girl. Let's go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello? Anyone here? Your fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one of them. Um. Where's the, uh. Power. Well, hello, Rose. Power. Is there a power box outside, I guess? The it's a cabin. Oh, flip. Okay. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Aw, oh, so sweet. Oh, there's a fuel can. Um, how do we get in? How do I flip and get in? How do I, how do I flip and get in there? How do I get in there, man? There's the door. An oh, old there. Generator had been connected to the power cable. Focus. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Wait a minute, why is it dark? Man, I got dark awful fast. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. All right. OK. 
kind of telling us everything we need to do so far. Uh, there's an axe. Well, I think we're going to need that axe sometime. Alice? Honey? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. She's not out there. Upstairs? Kitchen? What do we got going on here? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Oh, yeah. Here we go. On vacation, and she's upstairs with a surprise. Yeah. That's what I thought. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. Oh, flip. Go take a look. <laughs> oh. Okay. Burst my bubble. Flip. July 1970. Surprise. Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past... Damn, Alice, you... Everyone hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. No. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Damn it. Alice? Flip no dark. All the lights were out. Alan! Alan! Where are you? Help! Oh! Oh, flip! Flip sake! What the hell? Help me! Alan! No! So no! Is she out? Is she in here? Whoa. No. No. Oh, no. No. Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up. Alice? Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare to oh, another. Oh, wow. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Wow. Sir. Among Alice's things was a book. The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. Looks like Dookie Hauser. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. That's right. Just like Dookie Hauser. How do I get to... Whoa, Felipe, man. Guess we're going down this way. Was there anything else to pick up back here? Alright, guess not. Alright, guess we're going this way. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. 
So I guess this is going to be like little bits of, uh... Wow. I guess this is going to be like little bits of, of stories interspersed with, like, dreams. Never really done this game. I think I did a little bit of it a couple years ago, but... Hello? I can't see in the light. Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Uh, Reed Allen, how we doing there, buddy? Is there something down this way? It seems like we can go this way. But I think I'm probably supposed to stay on the path. Where the flip is the path? This way? Man, I got a, I got a nervous, nervous, bad feeling about this. Anybody there? Mm. Please, I've been in an accident. I don't see anything. And this is a long way to get down this way. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Maybe not. But I'm I'm still feeling a little nervous here. Okay. It seems like this is like really cool. All right. That seems really dark there. Guess we're going up this way. Look out. Here we go. Anybody there? Please. I've been in an accident. Hey. Hey, you. Phil. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Oh! Ducky! Please, to beat you. Non-refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Uh... Okay. Okay, not that way. Wrong way, bro. Bro, anything, anything. Got it. Can't go that way. Where the flip am I supposed to go, man? Okay, I got a bad feeling. I'm gonna I'm gonna be choosing the wrong direction, aren't I? Oh <laughs> flip sake. second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Haha, <laughs> Nicholson. That works. Uh, 
One to switch weapons and throwables. During your trying, it's the latest thing in. Hello, nine one one. Yes. Proven. What? What is your? Hello. Hello. And keep those cholesterol levels. Oh, flip that. Oh, flip. Flip. No, oh, what the flip? Guess we're going this way. What the flip? Oh, flip, flip. Oh, flip. Oh, all right. What the flip are we doing with that? I lost, lost the direction here. This says, it looks like we're going this way. Oh, flip! Bitch! My head pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just kill someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. I was dreaming. It felt real enough to make me sick. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Oh, got it. Thanks. Kind of points to go that way. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season. This way. Yeah, it's pretty wild there. It is. How do we go under? No, no. See? Can we not get under? Do I have to go around it? Am I supposed to go down this way? Whoa, Felipe! What the hell was that? I don't know, but let's get through this. I'm sure there's a light at the end of the tunnel. <gasps> if we there were in a, a tunnel. 
Something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Sure, I'm missing some bullets and batteries and all kinds of fun things. How do we do that? Tab? Um, how do we use the coffee? I would think you might, maybe the coffee will, oh, maybe the coffee will wake you up if it's a nightmare. Do I gotta use the logs to get across? Over there. Something's up here. Was there another log that way? There's another log that way. Which way should I go? Alright, dead end. Oh, wait a minute. No, nope. dead end. Where is he? He was still out there in the dark, stalking me. Hmm. Something's here. Almost missed these. Almost missed those. Got more batteries. Nice. Lithium batteries even. Whoa. Oh, Felipe. Flip, how do I get up there, man? Come on, bro. How do how do I flip and get up there? Oh, come on. Don't be playing around on me this time, game. Come on, man. Seriously, bro. This is this is no no we ain't no we ain't playing this. No 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 no. Jump jump. Come on, bro. Can't jump. What the flip is going on here? Where are we supposed to go? Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. The fleep. Where am I supposed to go, man? Hmm. All right. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Proceed at your own risk. Wait a minute. Was we not just here? Was we not just here? That way. That way. It kind of, my head itches. Man, they kind of want us to go flipping this way. What? 
No. Why, why would I go up there? Why would I go up there? Why would I go up there? I, I don't want to go up there. I don't want to. No, I, I don't. I really don't want to go up there. All right, I guess we're going up there. Taken. The, They're taken. The taken are filled with darkness. Man, they're going to be some crazy in here. Some kind of all right, so that lets us know there's a uh, uh, something, something here. I got more flare gun ammo. I use regular gun for now. Um, or maybe they want me to use the flare gun. Hey, Stormy Cat, how's it going, man? Okay, I guess. Uh, yeah. Guess we're going this way, aren't we? Wow. Welcome to the live stream. If you guys are enjoying this, don't forget to hit the thumbs up there. And if you are new to the channel, holy flip, where have you been all my life? Oh my lord. What's going on? Dude, dude, I'm going to get flipping scared in this. I know I'm going to get scared. They're going to be some flipping, 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 flipping jump scares. What are we doing here? What's the deal? What are we supposed to do? The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Ah. Uh. Forty-two ammos. Oh man, this is better than flipping Resident Evil. I couldn't stay here. There had to be a way to get up there. The stairs were useless. I had to find something else to help me climb up there. That's right, jump scares and Halloween. That's right. Where's uh, coffee, dude? We need flipping coffee. I don't know how to use the thermos, but uh, we got some. When we decide we want it. Dude, I want to... I want to... Uh, I want to seriously try to... Uh, oh. Hmm. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Yeah. I bet they're going to want us to turn that on. That's too obvious. They want us to walk over there. And something's going to jump out at me when I go over there, right? Flip no. I ain't going that way. Game says go that way, V. And I'm like, no. We ain't going that way. All right. I'll be smarter in the game. <laughs> okay, that ain't gonna happen. All right, guess we're going that way. Uh, something in that. Look like there might be a door there. I just got a feeling we're gonna have to... What? I, I figure we're gonna...
Oh, bro, we got a shotgun. We got a shotgun. Look out. All right, where was that other piece? Where was the other boxes over here, wasn't it? What? Oh, flip. Oh, I get it. I get it. Was that it? There it is. Hey, come on, my. How we doing? Oh, taking a break from cleaning out your closets. Oh, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Man. Oh, flip. Okay, that didn't quite work. Why didn't that work? Playing some... Ah, uh, there you go. Good, good. You enjoy your music and cleaning out that stuff, man. Sometimes we all just got to go clean out our closets, don't we? Nailed it. First try. Be something here, man. All right, nothing there. Gotta go. More shotgun ammos. All right, what's up with these radios? Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Listeners know I'm, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and I won't keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Call her. We're on here. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? Oh, Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but when we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but just too dumb for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. I guess that's that. Nah. What is this? Oh, here's another chest with stuff. Good. I guess we're going uh, this way. It's an interesting game. Interesting so far. Guess we're going up this pathway here.
Yeah, I don't re know when this game originally came out. I'll have to check that out. But uh, this is the remastered version. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Something about to happen, man. You know, s something about to happen. Ay, 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 ay. Run, run, bro. Oh, flip multiples. Flip, click, 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 click. Okay, flip, flip, get the thing going. Wow. Your clothes got a little too small. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they get a little too small. Sometimes they get a little too big. You know, things happen. Safe what? Oh, this is a safe haven. Stay in the light. It's cool. Which way we going, man? Well, Felipe. Run to the light! Here I go. Where we gotta go? Flip! Run to the light! Run to the flipping light, bro! Run to the light! The light can save you! Run! Run! Get the flipping light! Only one shot in that thing. <sighs> Alright. Hmm. Well, I'm glad this light is here, but where the flip do I gotta go, man? Run! 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 Flip and run! Oh, bro! <laughs> I'm in the light! Gotcha! I'm in the light! <laughs> oh, shit. How am I gonna get past those guys?
Where's the other one? Face your fears, buddy. Face your fears. Flip. Whoa. Flip. Felipe. I like the music, man. This is cool. Can I get back up there? It won't let me get back up there. So what's the best game? Or what's the best gun? Is it gonna be the flare gun probably? I think the flare Oh for leap's sake. The flare gun looks like it takes out multiple guys. So probably like the Resident Evil stuff, it's probably better to just bob and weave. Go. Uh, three of them. Three of them. Go. Get in there. Flippin' get in there. Flippin'. Flippin'. full on lithium batteries. Well, that's kind of good, I guess. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode quantum suicide <laughs> if our lives are already written it would take a courageous man to change the script having called a press conference dr barclay colvin is about to demonstrate <laughs> this is like the outer limits or uh, twilight zone ladies and gentlemen of the press i am dr barclay colvin and I'm glad so many of you could join me. I think I'm going to use the first weapon that we got. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. Because I think the shotgun and the uh, flare gun are probably a little better. Nine millimeter pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide.
Got a bad feeling on this that that thing's going to just drop on me. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't really want to be under those. Full on revolver, we're full on lithiums, and there's more right here if we need it. I guess that's good that I'm full on stuff. And over here. I just got a bad feeling those things are going to fall on us. to get us back to hmm all right um i guess we're gonna have to use the flare on the majority of them and run away like tons of them shit shit where's the ah where we gotta go flip run flip and run bro flip and run rip run bob and weave bro bob and weave oh flip <laughs> oh flip oh my lord hmm All right, I think we got to go across. I think we best bet is just go straight through them. Where's he going? How, why is this not opening, man? Why is that not opening? Thought that was where we were going.
Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come, assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. Um, can I go back here? Are these guys done? Can I go back and pick that stuff up? Alright. Yes, I can. Coffee. I uh, totally missed it over there. I was too busy running. All right, so after you kind of clear an area, I think the little nightmare guys are gone, which is kind of cool. So that you can kind of go back and grab some stuff. Interesting. Something there? No. Just the the white on the 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 lid on the gas cap here, man. Just like crazy white compared to everything else all rusted out. Wait. Thought I saw a little yellow mark over here. Man. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Man. Definitely different. <gasps> we made it. Almost. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Almost there. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. Right, so I'm moment, I'm checking all the darkness. Inserted itself. Does that mean the lights are gonna go out? The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. Whoa! It'd been me on the TV. Whoa! Crazy. Was I losing my mind? Right. Right ball, sheriff station. So they send Officer Martin. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice.
Something's off. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? Wow. I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Hmm. Yeah, it was. Really good song. This is gonna be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. It's cool. Look at that. What city are they in? Are they supposed to be in uh, Chicago, New York, something like that? Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. <sighs> oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. Oh, really? On my desk. Oh, here's my desk. I wonder if that Q I wonder if the QR code does something. That's weird. The dark place was an endless waking dream. 
I saw visions carried by the ebb and flow of different dream states. They seeped in from the reality beyond. Yeah, it does. Uh, if you guys scan that QR code, it'll take you to a video. That's cool. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Where the flip is the fuse box? I'm in the bathroom. Alan, I really need those lights on. Whatever. Chill. Oh, there it is. Right by the door. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just, it just really spooked me. Don't worry, we'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Hey, Ara, how's it Good going? Story writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Aww. Smoochy, smoochy. Oh, That's what winter's about. Running out of power. No lights. <laughs> hmm. Ray Falls. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any oh, that was in the past. Orientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? Wow. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, All right, Manny. I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Manny, Mr. Fox, you have a wonderful I'm evening. Here. If the pain Appreciate you. worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. He was out fishing. Yeah, that's nice and sanitary. Yeah, grabbing some fish. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. Mm. I believe you'll find the sheriff in her office. Uh, just go down the corridor. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. Oh, that's the same lady. 
complacent Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the parade float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. Yeah, we already knew that. All right, F5. Okay, so I, am I missing a couple of pages? Oh, this is just episode two. I bet I'm missing a couple of pages. Find this page in nightmare difficulty. Okay. Oh, unread. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. The memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Oh, we picked up a lot more here. Okay, so we were missing... Oh, so you need to be Nightmare to pick up those. So I only missed one, I guess. Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Ah. Uh. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, 
I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now, she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Ah, uh, Rose. Harry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that, not sleeping, messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Huh, I don't recall Barry coming back to get us. In episode one. Right? Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Yeah, thanks. I'm Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, well, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. Oh, is that a kitten wanted? A missing, a missing kitten. Have you seen this man? Okay, here's the fuse box when we need that. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife Who again. is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I bet it's going to be this guy. Did I miss any manuscript pages in here? Because we had two and then we had one. So, and I think we missed two. Mr. But Wake, I, can I help you with anything? Yeah. How do I get I to the back? The sheriff said I could go out back. I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. He's one of our regulars. Hey, mister. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright in here. You can get to the back lot through that door and down the corridor, Mr. Wake. Thanks. Hmm. So, am I supposed to turn the light on for that guy first? No. Maybe there's a light switch in the cell area. The parking lot is through that door and down the corridor. Pay no attention to Walter Snyder on your way. Please help me, man! 
Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't Found let one. anybody tell you different. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, sure, sure. I beat him up. I wasn't drunk. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't drunk. <laughs> I was only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. It only looked like him. You wanna know who it really was? I'll tell you who it really was. <laughs> it was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounds like something that drunk would say, but believe me. I wasn't drunk then. <laughs> the early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Missing a manuscript page. Go through the fence. There's gotta be a manuscript page back here. To find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deerfest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition. <laughs> no point in getting all worked up yet. Uh We gotta go through this way. There it is. Cool. There we go. There it is. Is that all of them? Yep. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak. The waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Alice's driver's license had been placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. He's passed out. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness shapes it from nothingness the way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite if i stop 
the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. Hmm. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Wow. This is getting really interesting. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff... Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emile Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey. There it goes! Take it easy. Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I guess his buddy uh, Barry's there. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable. But when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. <laughs> Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Oh, yeah, I bet she was. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Who's Max? <laughs> what an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Wonder what we do with the coffee and how we use it. Guess we're going out here. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. Hey. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. Yeah, I think the coffee's supposed to be for health, but I don't know how to use it. You can't just go and meet a kidnapper. 
Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha-ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. All right, um, options, controls, bindings, um, use, move, mini game, throw, boost flashlight, focus, flare gun, flashbang, toggle, toggle the camera. Oh, so we're going to get a flare and a flashbang later. That'll be cool. Um, yeah, I don't see anything about the coffee. I wonder if it... I don't know. Yeah, it might be a collectible, but I don't... I, think I wouldn't think so. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. I would have... trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods... Watch your step so you don't end up like Max. I guess I'm a little worried. Hmm. Yeah, campers out there. We haven't heard from them. It's not like these people are on schedule. But with the traps, well, you know, I just don't want any trouble. Right. Thanks. All right. I would think that with this kind of being a nightmarish thing where you're, you're kind of going in and out of daydreaming, that the coffee would kind of help you. I don't know. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went into thin air. A guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. Do you hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms? Strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. All right. So they're from New York. There we go. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. Deliverance. Dude, I picked up all kinds of lithium battery cells. I had like 20 a minute ago. And now I flip and got seven. Come on, man. Come on, game. Play me right. Man, I went to all the trouble to get all of those batteries, all that ammo. We had the gun all loaded up. We had extra ammo all kinds of stuff. Now we all starting all over again. That just ain't right. I don't care who you are. 
That ain't right. And that door's locked. And that ain't right. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the fire, man. And go grab another drink with the fire. <laughs> Tell you what, though, I am enjoying this story. Thoroughly enjoying this story. Hope you guys are too. If you are, make sure you hit that thumbs up there. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Appreciate you. And uh, yeah, don't forget for our members, we do have a members only live stream tomorrow. I think it might be a little bit later. I got to re uh, look at that because Casper wants me to do. Um, some more uh, payday three tomorrow. So we'll probably do payday three um, right before the members only stream. Then we'll do members only mafia stream. Everybody in chat, let me know when was the last time you was just chilling out out in the outdoors at a cabin campsite just going fishing just just chilling outside man i think uh bamata didn't you say you just went uh fishing or something the other day that's bowls <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah I, I spend some time i try I, you know i don't collect everything i don't 100 percent anything trust me ask anyone on my 19 wives i never 100 percent nothing definitely wasn't platinum with them but i um every day where you live that's awesome bamata yeah but um yeah i mean i i do spend some time wandering around checking the nooks and crannies trying to gather stuff whether if they be collectibles or if they be uh you know use what oh that no or uh you know gathering ammo and stuff like that gathering the manuscript pages like that could have easily missed that I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Am I supposed to use the vehicle? Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Yeah, but I mean, I had uh, I had this uh, revolver with like 40 rounds of ammo or something like that. I had uh, the flare gun and I had the shotgun and I picked up extra ammo for those. It was full on the lithium batteries. I was feeling real good about that. I was thinking, here we go. We're ready for this. Hmm. All right, here it is. Went from daytime to nighttime. Oh yeah, we're supposed to meet him at midnight. Of course it's nighttime. They got me with that jump scare, that's for sure. <sighs> oh, that was a probably worth a clip. Nice. 
ammos. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your dear best plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> oh. Oh. No plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sat race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly, Bat. But I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. Uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a largemouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Now, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy with you. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. Hmm. All right, do we go down this way or do we go that way? I bet this way first. I'm going to go this way. Wait a minute, this looks like another place we were at. Tell you what, this does look like pretty... Oh, flip! This looks like a good place to kind of hang out and chill. Don't see anything over there. I tell you what, the lighting is really good. I mean, I, I complain about lighting all the time in games. And this is dark. And I know it's supposed to be dark. But it's... It's just dark enough, if that makes sense. And the flashlight actually looks like a flashlight, man. You can actually use it to actually look at stuff. It's got a nice little focus here, and it's got a broad beam like a flashlight normally would. Lover's Peak, Moonshine Cave. I got a bad feeling we're about to run into something. Oh, Felipe. Oh, flip. I wasn't supposed to go out there. Shit. Can't get back over, can I? Yeah, I can't. Yep, there we go. Nailed it. Oh, wow. You know what? This is the exact same setup as the other cabin. Probably because it's a cabin. Just like the other cabin. Crime and 
punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. That's really cool. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode. The Twilight Zone. That's awesome. I'm enjoying that. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? There's nothing in that one. Coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took the quality on that TV looks pretty darn good. You pick a guy and quoting from the arresting officer's report here. You know, sometimes I do things. Sometimes I do things just to check. Okay. Sometimes I just shoot things to shoot things, see if they break. Hello. Let's see. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. I tell you what. I appreciate that this game reads these pages for me. The visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Do not feed the wildlife. What? Oh, this is like a whole, holy flip, look at all of them. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Flip, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen more. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight, and there's fourteen more since the uh, police station. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. I just have a feeling that these pages are gonna give us some sort of clue as to what we're facing. These uh, little Taken guys, or whatever they're called. Foreshadowing of stuff.
vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Whoa. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Anything in this this time? All right. Um, it wants me to go where? To the office it's back behind me I know the office is behind me oh, it won't let me go there I'm almost wondering if I should check that out first oh no maybe the office is over here maybe that's the office over there The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Park Ranger office. There it is. There. Oh. I didn't see that one. Rusty's dying. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt him until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Cool. Nice. We're back up to 40 rounds of ammo. Thank goodness. That was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! Rusty!
The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. sized hole in the wall. Oh no, the dog! Please don't feed the animals. The fleet? Fishing is only permitted for those birds who purchase a park. Oh no, Felipe. We're going back out here. We're going back out here. Oh, the oil spots. The flashlight blow them up. Oh. Maybe that turns into those creatures and we're able to do something to them before they get there. Hmm. They may we're supposed to go there. I don't see anything else in there. All right, let's go to the back here. I think it wanted us to go out that way. I was just double checking, seeing if there was anything here first. Yeah, can we get in this door now? No. All right, there's um, blood on right there. That's kind of crazy. All right, it wanted us to go through this, I think. Nothing else opened up here? Nope. Alright. Let's go! Historical artifacts from the party. 
dude. Why did that take so many more bullets than the other times? I mean, that like literally unloaded what, like 30 shots on the dude? Come on. Oh, flip! Felipe! Oh, Felipe! Oh, flip! A flip! Oh, wow! Flip! Flip! Okay, that was interesting. Why did it, am I not doing it right? Am I not focusing the light good enough to kill him? Because earlier in the game, it was like three or four shots. That time it was like 10 shots. That was crazy. Well, the, the first guy, the park ranger was like 20 shots. All right, now it wants us to go that way. So I think we're cleared this area. Can't go back out here. But let's go check by that white car. I was worried earlier it was wanting me to go. Oh, that's the way we came in, wasn't it? We came in from that way. All right. Um, let's go to around this thing here. Back side of this. A drop hazard. There we go. Coffee thermos. I don't know what the flip it's for. Maybe it's just a collectible. Does it say? Manuscript options statistics. Kill with a revolver. Coffee thermos is found. Dude, there's a hundred of them. Can pyramids knocked over. Oh, so when we find a pyramid can, we need to knock those over. Chess. Radio shows found. TV shows found. So we are supposed to turn those on. Signs. Alarm clocks. Video games too? So those are all collectibles. Signs. Am I supposed to like do something with the signs? Or maybe these signs. Maybe it's a different kind of sign. So I bet in those cabins would have been the video games. I'm not seeing any of those, unless if those are later in the game. Sounds like those are all collectible things. Alarm clocks would... I, I could have swore I checked those... Um, could have swore I checked all those uh, cabins pretty thoroughly. I didn't go all the way through here. Alright, well let's go on where the game was wanting us to go. Yeah, I'm enjoying this game a lot. Hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough of Alan Wake...
remastered version. I think this is only about two years old. I think it might have come out about 2021. Probably, you know, I, I just checked it a minute ago. It said there's six episodes. So it seems like the first episode I did in about an hour and a half. So it's probably a good pace for me to do this in three streams, about two episodes per stream. So we'll finish this episode and then we'll see where we're at. Cafe Souvenir Shop. I'm thoroughly enjoying this, though. I was going to play it right before the remaster come out, I think. And I don't think I got to it. I think I ran out of time. Oh, nice. We got a light here. That's cool. Can I jump over that? Hmm. Oh, I bet I go down and around it. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Maybe that's a sign? Flip. I'll get a little closer to these signs. Yeah, I don't want to waste my battery. Okay, it looks like there's something over here, though. Oh, okay, so you go over there and then walk down. That's what it is. Go over there, walk down there. And you're able to... Oh, but I can't get over there. Unless it, maybe that's a way to get out. Flip, I don't know. Just look like a place to go. I do like that I got my 42 rounds back now. I got a feeling we about to run into something again. I can't go that way. It looked like a place we could go and explore, adventurize. Bro, I know something's about to happen. <laughs> you know it. Yeah, now that I know I'm looking for signs, I'm like checking every sign a lot more detailed. Oh, knock over the cans here. Nope, that ain't it. It said a pyramid can. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens, but she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Oh, wow. Is Alan thinking about the uh, waitress there? All right, I think we got 11 down, about 12 or 13 to go. Those manuscript pages, so we're, I, I think we could be maybe about halfway. Uh, I'm, man, something about to happen, I just know it is. Bet the light's going to go out. If we're going off of manuscripts... 
I think we could be about halfway halfway through the second episode. Batteries, please. Yes. Oh, man. This is one of those games, you know something's coming up, you just don't know exactly when. When's it going to happen to you? Oh, man. What? For your safety, stay on the trail. So Da Vinci gets off the trail right in front of the sign that says, stay on the trail. Do not feed the wildlife. Checkpoint reached. Something seriously going to happen now. You know it is. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Yeah, rebel without a clue, that's what I am. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, the dots seem to be like the beginning of it. The arrows seem to be farther along, but for some reason the arrows go to the dots. Seemed like uh, another time I saw the dots, and the dots kind of led you to the arrows. Maybe that's... An arrow that's worn out. Man, I, I love... I'm really enjoying the game. I'm really enjoying the lighting in this. This game has the lighting. A lot of other games beat that I've played recently. I know I complain about lighting a lot. Something's in here. Oh, read the... There we go. I think we got a sign. This cave was the site of frequent lucrative bootlegger activity during the prohibitions. It was mostly used for temporary storage of alcohol smuggled from Canada, but at times alcohol was also distilled. All right, I bet that's a sign. Signs found. Two out of 25. Two, I don't remember reading another one. Found a shotgun. Flip yeah. Oh yeah. All right, we got the flare gun and the shotgun. I'm feeling so much better now. All right. All right, let's go. I'm glad we came this way. The shotgun plus the flare gun's really going to help out. There'll probably be another one right before we get there. Right before we get to the fight. Surge with the warhorn walking in the door. How we doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Yeah, I bet right before we get to wherever the next fight is, there's going to be a flare gun. This will just give us extra ammo by going there. Maybe the shotgun. All right, here we go. It's about to happen. You know it is. You know it is. The lights just went out.
Oh, Felipe. Felipe. Alright, so the flare works on multiples of them pretty good. But I only got one shot left on the flare gun. Let's kind of save it. Can I outrun these dudes? I always go the wrong way, don't I? So I'm about to go nuts! Run to the light, bro! Run to the light! Nice. Nice. Alright, what I'm really want that reminds me of Resident Evil, those plants that you had to pick up to mix the herbs and stuff. Yeah, what other um, collectibles are we supposed to be doing? Alright, alarm clocks, cardboard standees found. We found a cardboard standee at the uh, at the diner, right? Wouldn't that be that? Um, the signs, TV shows, radio shows, chess, can pyramids, batteries used, birds. Oh, we're supposed to kill birds. Poltergeist. Ooh. Kills with a flare gun. Kills with a revolver. Hunting rifle. A vehicle. We can kill them with vehicles. <gasps> That's going to be awesome. Oh, that wasn't it. Flip. I thought that's where we were supposed to be going, man. Where's that truck? Alright, so that goes to Lover's Peak that way and that goes to Lover's Peak that way. Both ways. There's two ways to get there. So we wait until it gets focused. Flip! Whoa! Flip! 
Ha <laughs> ha! Try to get me now. Try to get me now, bro. Oh shit, man. Flip, 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 flip. Run, run, oh, shit, man. Come on, bro. Run, oh, flip, flip. Whoa. Run, get up there, get up there, <laughs> shit. Holy Felipe! Alright, the shotgun, I thought might take him out in one shot, but it didn't. Man, I'm almost out of pistol ammo. Shit, man. So we gotta hit him with the shot with the uh, flashlight enough. Flip. Whoa! Flip! Oh, flip! Make it run to the light. Run to the light, bro. <laughs> Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You afraid of me, bro? You afraid of me? I think the flashlight recharged in the uh, light, too. Let's see if it does. Yeah, the flashlight recharges in the light, too. Awesome. I got, like, no ammo left. Oh, no, no, no. The flashlight just actually recharges. Okay. The flashlight will actually recharge on its own. Okay.
There's gonna be more here. There's gonna be more here. You know there is. Right here at the bridge. Light's gonna go out, isn't it? Of course it did. Thank you very much. There'll be something over here at the phone booth too. Nope. All right, well, I like these lights being a little safe haven. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right, so we've got however many we got. All right, so we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, <laughs> flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew, and more. It's redeem! Exclamation point redeem for the redeemables. Um, Lover's Peak. You know, I'm going to go off of this path and I'm going to run into, uh, I'm going to run into a, a trap, a bear alert. Flip man, here they come. Can I can I outrun them? Can I outrun them? Go. Oh, flip! No, flip! Bitch! No, bitch! No! Flip! Run! Run! Run, Alan! Run, Alan! Run, Alan! You got this! Okay, I can't outrun them. <laughs> flip. <gasps> Look out for the bears. That's the point when, uh, yeah. Which way are these guys coming from? Flip! Get out of there! Wrong way, bro! Wrong way, bro! Get to the light! Run to the light! Do 
Dude, I'm a, I'm like out. I'm out of ammo. What did I get? Three of them? Dude, there's like three or four more left still. Ow! Oh, flip! So the light will recharge over time, which is good to know. But I'm like, I'm running low on ammos here. I think we're definitely getting to a, a checkpoint here with this many of these guys. totally out of ammo. What am I supposed to do now? What the flip am I supposed to do with no ammo? Is there a save? Dude, there's no save. You only go back to a checkpoint. Oh, that's gonna suck. No ammo here. This reminds me of Resident Evil shit. You, like run out of flipping everything. I need a spot to pick up some stuff. I need some loot. Oh, you know there's gonna be a bear here too. That's what's gonna happen. Music just changed. There should have been something here, man. Stupid game. There should have been something here. I need ammo. I don't need a coffee cup. I need flipping ammo. The tree this ring was cut from started growing in 1846, the year the Oregon Treaty was signed. Other notable events marked on the rings. Washington Territory, founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company. This is awesome. That's awesome. So that was kind of a collectible there. Man, I was I was seriously hoping we'd find some ammo or something, man. Seriously. Dude, I was so happy. We had gotten our ammo and everything and then I just like wasted it all on those guys. I'm like, shit. That sucks. That was a lot of those dudes. The most that we've encountered. Oh. Okay, we can't get through there. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. 
He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch, at any cost. All right, I'll kind of like the map here. There's the visitor center, the gazebo, the cabins, uh, moonshine cave, late nature fall, lover's peak. Man, that's like at the whole end of everything. Man, if I had more ammo, I'd like actually go get them birds. There's nothing else here. Dude, I seriously got two shots. I can't be the only one this bad at this game. Something's gonna happen while we're on this. You know it is. Oh, is this going to be the end of part yeah, two, maybe? Kid stuff. Oh, awesome! The will keep the bastards away. Nice! We're going to get an upgraded flashlight. Maybe called a flashbang. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we got to move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but... Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. You set him up, and I'll knock him down, Wake. Hold. Oh, flip. Oh, flip. I'm supposed to use all those? Ow, flip. The flip, man. Am I supposed to throw it the flare at them?
these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Oh, come on! No can do. Wake. I just used them all. Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Pull them off, damn it! I just used them all. Are you effing kidding me? Hold that for a flippin' checkpoint. Just a little longer. Scare him off. Get some light on those bastards. That'll keep them off us. Just a little longer. I almost got it. Okay, it's okay. Flip! This is so- come on, bite my ass. Flip! Come on! Peek, right up these stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off and get these boards. There's none in here because I just used them, asswipe! Come on! Give me the gun! No time for back talk! Come on! Scare him off! Get some light on those bastards! That'll keep them off us! Right! Just a little longer! I almost got it! Okay, it's over. Move it a little Oh, flip! No! I got stuck! Flip! Flip! Come on! Go! 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 Get in there! Get in there! Get in there! Get in there! We made it! We made it! Run for the owl, oh, bitch! Come on! Oh! Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get the Come on! No can do. Are you kidding? Give me the gun! No time for back talk! Hold them off, damn it! Come on! Scare them off. Go! Flip and go! Flip! Go! Flip! Go! Go! Flip! Flip! Go! I'm out of here, bro! I'm out of here! You, you worry about yourself, man! You worry about yourself, man. <laughs> Flip. Oh, we made that. Better now, Wake. All cozy and safe. Wake, where'd that one go? Wow. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. What? With what? Get ready for what? I ain't got nothing. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more flares here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Hear that? It's them. Oh, flip, man. They're behind us. Look out. Flip.
Bitch, come on. No, come on. Oh, shit. Come on. They pinned me. That was no fair. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. I stepped right into it, man. Now they're coming over the sides. Flip, go, go! What the hell? Won't let me dodge him. Come on! Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep oh my lord! I think that was. I think that was probably the last wave. man. Flip! Come on! Go! The flip! Go! 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 What the hell? Flip, I can't take any more hits. Oh, flip. Can't take any more hits. I think this is it. I think that's it. Wow. That was pretty intense. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're going to bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. Oh, flip. What the hell are you talking about? 
Where's it's gonna be like misery. I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. Oh, flip! because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. Gallon, how we doing there? Can anyone be sure they even really exist? Yes, we exist because we influence the world around us. That's why you should push the like button. To prove you exist, unless, of course, you don't. Thank you, Callan. You're awesome. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight after this. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. So there's a log to get across some way. All right, do we go? Whoa, we don't go that way. We're obviously going this way somehow. I right, maybe we're supposed to. Oh, flip. Oh, there was a way to get across that way. Flip. We were supposed to go up that way first, wasn't we? Flip. A flip so we are supposed to come down that way to go this way but yet there's nothing here whoa what was that did y'all see that it's like the game glitched out right here Man, it took us far enough to make it look like there was something here. I bet I'm going to step in one of them traps, aren't I? Step in one of them traps and I'm going to be hurt bad.
Oh, flip. That's a bear trap. <gasps> I was like trying to pick it up. I was like, oh, look, there's something shiny. Let's go get it. <sighs> I just, I just said, I bet I'm going to go get one of them bear traps, didn't I? All right, so we saw one of them dudes down here. Oh, here's the bear traps. That's probably, the, can I grab those? That's probably letting us know, don't get off of the path here. You know when I start running, I'll run into those things. Where do we gotta go, man? Oh, flip, man. Oh, they're gonna happen right here. And we gotta dodge all these. It wouldn't hurt for long. Yeah, I know. Oh man, they're like flipping everywhere. Where we gotta go? Make it through the fleeping woods. Thank God. Thank God. We're, we're too full on revolver ammo. There it is, right there. Did we, which way did we come? We came through that way, didn't we? got to be some more flares or something else somewhere. How do we get over there? That's where we need to go. Hey, Floristic, how we doing? Come on, Ma. Welcome back. Hope you got things taken care of. Hope your clothing is going to look good. There we go. We done hit the checkpoint. Oh, flip off! Flip off! Flip off! Bitch! No! No! Flip! Flip, flip! Can we, can we please just run? Run! 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 Flip! Run! Which way am I going? I don't even know where I'm going, man. And I sure don't know where I've been. Ow! Oh! All right. I think we're going this way. Flip! Can we go? Can we go? Flip and run, man. Flip and run. Bob and weave. Go. Flip. Go. Why why can we not flip and run, man? Can we can we just flip and run, man? Flip. Flip. Flippin' bitch.
I don't even know where I'm supposed to go, man. I think there were more, but I lost a few of them. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, though. I think I got off the path. So now I gotta go back. Pathway this way? Oh, come on, bitches! Flip! Run! Bob and weave, boy! Bob and weave! Go! Oh, fl oh, flip! Reload! Not good! Not good! Boy! Oh, shit! There's something over here. I don't know if I got off the path or what. Oh, flip off! No, flip. Oh, flip, man, there's more of them. No, flip it, no. Flip no! Come on! Oh, come on! Oh, that female pup is mean, that's right. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I think I got off the pathway there. Flip. All right, I haven't used the flare yet. So I think over time your health improves. Oh, there's the, there's where I'm supposed to go. Alright, wait for my flashlight to recharge. That's taken out five of them so far. So that kind of worked out a little bit. I haven't quite got...
We're about out of ammo, man. So I think I need to work on headshots more, maybe. Well, this is working. Because at least I'm not being chased by a bunch of them. Yeah, that helps. Alright, I think that might be all of them. The music is tying down. No, nope, there's still more. Alright, I only got, I don't have much ammo left. Oh, flip, I'm stuck. Flip, I'm stuck on something. Flip. Two shots left, come on. Seriously. This is not going to work out. Try to run through this. Bro, come on, bro. Oh, flip. Gotta go. Gotta go. Flip. Oh, bitch. Go. Run. Why are you not running? Why are you not running? Come on, man. Seriously, bro. Oh, not a flip. No more. No, come on. Come on, bro. Come on. Where the hell am I going? Oh, shit this. I got two shots left. Come on. This is not the way to play fair. Like. Get in there. Get in the light. Whoa. That's too flipping close. There's some over there. Oh, flip! All right, we got a hunting rifle now. That's a little better. Is 
There was something down here on the back side of all this. When I climbed up this. Oh! When I walked up this, here was the saving thing right here. I just ran around it, I think. Felipe? I thought I saw a collectible when I was running up here. Like a page or something. One of my manuscript pages, I thought I saw it. When I was running this way. Maybe it was just the light glistening on that. Oh, flip off, bro. Flip off. Get up there. Flip off. Oh, maybe I can't run because I'm climbing up the tree. Maybe that's what it is. Ran out of ran out of pistol ammo. Flip. That kind of sucks. All right, so now it wants me to go that way. Seems like this would be a good spot for a checkpoint. went in here. I don't see anything else. Totally out of ammo. Man, I hope you guys are enjoying this game. Really good game. I'm enjoying it a lot. Okay, it wants me to go this way. But I'm nervous of leaving the light right now. I really wish I had more ammo. I had heard the plane fall. It made no sense. It was clear that it had just fallen here. It was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it sent a shiver down my spine. Should I go check? Oh, flip, yeah. Should I go check that? Can I get back up there? I can't get back up there. Flip. Alright, once we come down here, that's it. Oh, thank God. More stuff. And we're supposed to go up this. There it is. Yay, more stuff. Pistol, please. Why ain't there pistol ammo? All right, well, at least we got something. Now we're supposed to go that way. 
Man, I just had 40 rounds of ammo not very long ago. That's crazy. Oh, for leap's sake. Beaver, that was excellent timing. All right, we're going down this way. Wait a minute. There might be a way to climb up there. No, there's not. <laughs> I was wondering about you, Beaver. I hope you had a good day, bud. Checkpoint. With no flipping ammo, of course. Another light up here. Oh, Felipe. Oh, flip! Come on, bitch! Come on, bitch! Go! Go! What the hell? What are we doing? Where am I going, man? What am I doing? Come on. Why are you run why are you running like that? Really? A collectible? That's all you give me? Where am I supposed to go? Flip. That way? Shit. Why is the light over there? Run to the light. That's what they always say! Pistol ammo, please! Oh, thank God. Awesome. Oh, sister's awesome, awesome. Oh, had some Indian takeaway. That's great, man. All right, so the basis of this game is we're supposed to stay in the light. The light will help heal us. Yeah, I, I, um, my glasses have been rubbing on my ear. I don't know if it's because I've been streaming more or if it was when my headset was bad. I don't know, but I just, I don't want it to get worse. And so I thought I'd go for a day or two without them. They're, um, they're not reading glasses or anything, uh, prescription or anything. They're just uh, to protect my eyes from the, from the computer. I hear them. I don't see them. Kind of supposed to go this way.
man, you start running from these guys and, and you don't know where you've been and where you're going. This is where I came down from the airplane, I think. So I totally missed it. I think I ran this way. Go! Get in there! There we go! Oh, awesome. Awesome. Oh, flip! Okay. Um, alrighty. Oh, flip. Guess we ain't going back that way, are we? kind of got a Resident Evil feel where you feel like you're constantly out of ammo. Using too much ammo shooting things and you feel like, am I using the wrong ammo? What's going on? Really good game. I'm really enjoying it. Behind the computer, you wear glasses with blue light filter. Really good for those who spend a long time. Yes, yes, that's what mine are. They um, actually, I don't know if you can tell. These are really good ones. Um, and they've got kind of orange film to them. Yeah, these are really, really good glasses. So for those of you just joining us, we, we're a writer, and somehow we're picking up manuscript pages from a book that we've not written. The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. So we're still missing some pages. One, two, three, four, five, six pages. So there's a good likelihood I probably missed a couple of pages. What's that about? Oh, there's another manuscript page. Cool. Totally missed that. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. 
The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. No! No, 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 <laughs> no. We're out of ammo, and we're about ready to have a boss fight with some kind of Texas Chainsaw Massacre dude. What the flip? When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed, like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. Reach the top of the mill. Well, how do we get to the top of the mill? This is the top of the mill, isn't it? Is there another one? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, here it is. We got to go over here. Okay, got it. There's something to grab somewhere here. Oh, climb that. Okay. It's a hot tub. We're going to have a hot tub stream. What the flip was that? It's like it glitched out. Um, it glitched out before. I don't know if it's supposed to do a cutscene and it missed the cutscene. Maybe, maybe there's supposed to be a cutscene and they had problems with the cutscene so they took it out. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, I thought we picked up another one. I guess not. All right. So the chainsaw could be foreshadowing of a boss fight we're about ready to have. Or we could just be uh, at the end of this. The darkness wears her face. What the Felipe? Okay, that was close. Nice. More hunting rifle ammo. Good. Oh, we got to go around to get that? Or do we go up and over? Yeah, I think I might have missed those two. I think we might be. Wind picked up as I ran through the forest. 
I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced violently across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the Taken. No natural path had brought them here. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I missed these two. And we only have one more. I think we're at towards the end of this uh, chapter or episode or whatever. I was wondering how I was going to get back out of there. Yeah, I don't... I'm not ready for a boss fight. I, I don't really want to do a boss fight. Not without... Well, I guess I got those little flares. Okay, so there's a little something. Usually these boxes right there... The little red box is going to have something. Wonder if there's a way there was a way to reach that from here. All right. Looks like we're going to go grab that. Where else are we going to go? Oh, Felipe. No. No, Felipe. No, Felipe. Flip. Flip! Bitch! Oh, flip! Oh, flip! Run, boy. Run. Okay. I think we know what's coming up. Yeah, that that ain't it. <laughs> oh. Well, at least we know what's coming up now. That was a little more than foreshadowings. A flip! Why did it take so many shots? Did I not hit him right or something? I mean, that's a flipping hunting rifle, and I thought I shot him in the head with it, man. Hmm.
So nothing really here. This may take a minute to finish this, but I think this is the end of this uh, area, this section. Go check this way. Why does it do this, man? It like acts like it wants you to go this way. And then there ain't nothing over here. Wait, 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 wait. No. Nope. Ain't nothing here, man. Ain't nothing here at all. All right, so there were um, two guys right here once we uh, come through this. Can we go off this way? I don't think so. All right, that kind of triggers those guys. Flip. Ah. Yeah, there should have been a, uh, I don't know. It's a flippin' hunting rifle. How did they take five shots with the hunting rifle? Come on. Something's not right. First time, I did it one shot. Maybe two? It's a waste of a lot of flippin' ammo. User error, no. No. There's no user errors in in this gaming channel. Yeah, but I, I definitely need that ammo. There we go. All right, so I think we get the same. All right, I definitely need to save the flares for that boss fight up there. I kind of want to come back here. Yeah, I know. I fired blanks a lot in my life. Oh, whoops. 
Oh, Felipe. Be aware of widow makers. Come on, bitch. Come on, I always hate this when you know you're like at the end of a section. What the heck? How am I supposed to kill these guys? I, I I'm not I'm I, I still haven't understood how we shoot these guys. I think you're supposed to obviously headshot them. But I don't see an aiming reticle when I'm aiming at him. Be aware of widow makers. That's just way too much ammo. I mean, there's times, there's times when you can shoot them two or three times and there's times when it takes 10. At, I mean, what did I start out with? Like 16 shots? So it took me 12 shots to kill that dude? I mean, that's, that's crap. And I can't tell how to aim. I can't tell. I mean, is anybody else seeing something I'm not? Like how how I'm supposed to flip an aim with this? Hey, Casper, how we doing, buddy? You guys watch this and see if I'm missing something on how I'm aiming. I don't know anything about aiming. I mean, that's the flashlight. The flashlight is supposed to slow these guys down. Seriously, bro. Seriously. Come on. I mean, how are you supposed to shoot them? I mean, I can't tell where I'm aiming. Be aware of widow makers. This is crap, man. I mean, seriously, 12 shots again. Come on, man. I, I just wish I knew where I was supposed to aim. It would make it a whole lot more easier. Because I'm just like firing blanks. 
like I have the rest of my life. I've always just fired blanks. I mean, the flashlight slowly recharges. I mean, when you do this, Once the shield is gone, a bright flash will appear. Now they're vulnerable. Oh, okay. So I'm supposed to make them vulnerable first before I shoot them. Ah. I probably read that somewhere. I probably just wasn't paying attention. Not, you know, because I always read all those things. That's a little bit better. What I use six shots, then it's still a lot of shots to take somebody out. I mean, this just has that Resident Evil feel where you're always out of ammo. I, I mean, there's been times in the game where I've had 40 rounds. And I've used those 40 rounds on like two or three enemies. It's crazy. That's probably right, Beaver. You're probably right. Bitch! Why was you not running? What the fuck? Fudge that! No, um, backing back into the corner is a lot better than running forward into more of them. No. Yeah. No, don't, don't applaud that. I'm out of ammo, and I still got like half a dozen of those dudes left. That's why I was wandering around here trying to find more ammo. But I did find out you don't have to use the uh, batteries up. Because the, the flashlight will, will recharge. 
So it, rather than pushing forward, yeah, rather than pushing forward, rather than pushing forward, if you back up, the flashlight will recharge. Did I make a checkpoint? No, because I made it farther before. This isn't a checkpoint, I don't think. Did it say checkpoint? Oh, maybe it didn't checkpoint because I ran through those two guys and didn't kill them before. Maybe that's why it didn't checkpoint. Okay, cool. So this one here, then there's a couple more up here. Oh, I can't go back th through this. I can't go back through this if I have to. All right, so that door, that's where... Um, chainsaw dude was I think there was a couple more before that though try to trigger them Oh, it won't let me flip. Yeah, I tried to, uh, when I ran out of ammo, I tried to switch and I wound up, no, I tried to change the battery and I wound up switching guns. Alright, so we only, we used up two of those flares, but that's alright. Yeah, it wouldn't let me, man, I even checked that door before we got there. I checked if that door would open. And it didn't open, but that's all right. We made it through it. So that seems like that was probably the boss fight of this section. It wants us to go back the other way. Up there. I think this is probably the end of this mission if we make it up here. There it is. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. 
Don't open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. All right, well, this isn't the end of the mission. Probably getting back to uh, Barry is probably the end of the mission. Still had to reach Barry at the cap, but at least I was out of the woods. Nice. Revolver and batteries, good. What is this? Looks like there's lights going that way. from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. All right. All right, well, I thought that was the boss fight, and that would be the end of the this uh, second out of six missions, but um, that wasn't quite the case, was it, boys and girls? I guess we got a little more something, something to do here. I had to find the key to the garage. Yeah, it's going to be in there. But I figure once we find the key and get back to the car, then this mission's over. Probably just cut scene us driving back to him. I needed the garage key to get I it. got it. Yep, 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 yep. I just wanted to see if there was anything else to pick up. Right here. It's probably the last manuscript page. Nope. Hmm. So one, two, still three. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it, but it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. The garage key had to be somewhere nearby. In the bathroom? Why would it be in the flipping bathroom? Bro, I really don't want to go in the bathroom with all these. Okay. This one's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit better. Okay. Can we turn the TV on? It's a serious old school. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Okay, I was almost ready for that.
It's crazy how someone can be this creative and create a story. I know this is this is great. I mean, sometimes I think about that with games too. It's like, how did they think of all of this stuff? Oh, flip man, I can't see in here. I knew there'd be something in here. But I am enjoying the fact, dude, they totally forgot to put the, the toilets in the bathroom. Um, I am enjoying the fact that, uh, I mean, the lighting is really good. It's dark. It's like it's supposed to be. It's a horror game. But the flashlight actually flipping works. I agree with you, Reed. I, I love when people can kind of come up with games like this. With a great storyline. I mean, this is a good... This is a good game. And I think they... Um, I think this is the game I was, I was checking into. And originally... This was going to be a survival game, like a survival, uh, maybe crafting horror game, and then they took some of those elements out and made it more storyline. Oh, bro. Oh, flip. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, flip. Wrong way. Oh no, oh no, flip. I gotta hit him with the headlights too. Oh flip! How do I get... Oh, boost the lights. Okay, I'm just now reading that. Sometimes it's hard to read while you're driving. Oh, flip. This is a really cool section. Oh, flip. I guess we're getting out. You can change vehicle controls. Oh man, why the lights turned off? Flip!
Nothing up here. I think this is where we first came in at. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Flip. Come on, man. Seriously, bro. And that's why I back up. Oh, flip. Oh, no. Flip. Flip. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Oh, flip. Flip it. Come on, guys. Get all together. All right. Well, I thought I'd go back and get in the vehicle and run them over when there were three of them. But that didn't quite work out. <laughs> Oh, but that's all right. We got him. All right. I think that's it. I think that's got him. We can't get in this vehicle. Are we back at our cabin? I don't think so. I don't think this was our cabin, but we've already been in here. Let's see if there was anything in here. Yeah, no. All right. Yeah, I feel like we've circled all the way back to the beginning. It's a, it's a good use of reusing the map, because this is where we first started out. Oh, I could have ran up to here, but I was, I was worried we'd get here and the light would go out, because that's happened a couple of times. There he is. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done? I need a week. Two days! The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. 
The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. All right, so that must be the manuscript pages we're collecting. There was a radio here that we turned on. Was there anything else we missed? Can't be. Because it seemed like there were video games or something. Yeah, let's leave a light on. I just don't remember where we got to go, man. Oh, I think we're almost there. Oh, the light up here. There's there's where our uh, place is. That's where we're staying at. Oh, he said there were birds all over the place. Said it looked like Hitchcock. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Oh. <laughs> I'm supposed to... What's supposed to do with the birds, man? Ow! Ow! I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Oh, flip. Oh, Felipe. What am I supposed to do, man? Oh, flip, man. Where are they coming from? Bitches. Okay. The flip, man. How, how do you do it? How are you supposed to do it? Sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. <laughs> I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. 
The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. I know. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old dear diner. Oh, no. And that is a perfect place to end this episode. I hope you all have enjoyed this. Alan Wake. We'll come back another day with some more of this. It's a wonderful story. Really enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. If so, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, I appreciate you so much. This has six episodes in it. We'll come back another day with episode three and four. Yes, let's go raid Lalora. Let's go raid Lalora. Oh, flip. Sorry. I didn't mean to turn the music off. Let's grab Lalora. And we'll go raid Lalora. Give me just a second. And then we'll uh, do that music as our out music. There we go. I found Lalora. Lalora is playing some sunken land. We'll go say hi to her. Make sure you say it's a Da Vinci raid. Let her know. We're all enjoying what she's doing there. Appreciate y'all. Let's all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And I'll catch you next time.